The one man hide and seek, aka the one man tag, is a ritual for contacting the dead. The spirits which are wandering restless on the earth are always looking for bodies to possess. In this ritual, you will summon such a spirit by offering it in a doll instead of a human body. Warning, if you have psychic abilities, you may feel unwell or prone to accidents during the ritual. Here's what you need. One stuffed doll, it must have limbs. Rice, enough to stuff the doll full. One needle and one crimson thread. One pair of nail clippers. One sharp edge tool, such as a knife, glass shard, or scissors. One cup of salt water. Natural salt would be best. A bathroom with a bathtub and some form of counter. A hiding place, preferably a room purified by incense or ufuda. There must be a TV in there. Take out whatever the doll is stuffed with. Once all of its stuffing is removed, restuff it with rice. Clip off a few pieces of your nail and put them inside the doll. Sew up the opening with crimson thread. When you finish sewing, tie up the doll with the rest of the thread. Go to the bathroom and fill your bathtub with water. Return to your hiding place and put the cup of salt water on the ground. Here's how you do it. Give a name to your doll. The name can be any but your own. When the time is 3 a.m., say your name is the first it to the doll three times. Go to the bathroom and put the doll into the water-filled bathtub. Turn off all the lights in your house, go back to the hiding place, and switch on the TV. After counting to 10 with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the edge tool in your hand. Go to the bathtub and say to the doll, I have found you the doll's name. Stab the doll with your edge tool. Say you're the next it, the doll's name. As you take the doll out of the bathtub and leave it in the counter of the bathroom. As soon as you have put the doll down, run back to the hiding place and hide. Here's how you finish. Pour half of the cup of salt into your mouth. Don't drink it, just keep it in there. Get out of your hiding place and start looking for the doll. The doll is not necessarily in the bathroom. Whatever happens, do not spit out the salt water. When you find the doll, pour the rest of the salt water in the cup over it. Then spit it out, the salt water in your mouth onto it as well. Say I win three times. This is supposed to end the ritual. After this, make sure you dry the doll, burn, and discard it later. Most important, please do not stop this ritual halfway. You must do it through the end. This is a very dangerous ritual and I will not be responsible for what happens to you if you try. Other things to keep in mind. Do not leave your house until you have done the finishing ritual. You must turn off every single light in your house when told to do so. You must keep quiet while hiding. You do not need to put the salt water in your mouth during the beginning. You only need to do it during the end of the ritual. Remember, if you are living with someone, you might be putting them in danger too. Keep the ritual game under two hours or else the spirit will be too strong to remove. For safety reasons, it might be best to keep all the doors in the house unlocked, including your front door, as well as have friends close by so that they can come and help you at a moment's notice. If you ever need them, keep a mobile close at hand. Would be a good idea. So here's some notes as well. The rice represents innards and also have a role of attracting spirits. The crimson thread represents a blood vessel. It seals the spirits up inside the doll. By cutting the thread off, you break the seal and release the spirit you have trapped. If you go out of the hiding place without salt water, you might encounter something wandering around in your house, which may harm you in some way. The way to feel the presence of something wandering in your house is to watch what happens to the TV. The video clip below shows the changes seen to the TV after 40 minutes to the ritual. Nothing really happens, but it gives us some idea anyway. You can hear the changes in the sound. It might become unsteady repeats itself like a broken record and becomes warped towards the end. And that right there is our first ritual pasta on the channel. So let's talk about whether it's fake or not. So like I said, toward the end of the story, there is a video that comes with it. And really it's just a one minute and 51 seconds video. And there's really not much going on. Just the, I guess, author in a dark room with the TV playing in the background and it getting warped, which I do gotta say, the video is creepy, but there's nothing to it. You don't see any subliminal messages or a doll popping out. It's just a normal video with the TV playing. It is, the description, however, is interesting. So the title of the video is called Hide and Seek Alone, 
and the description reads, I played hide and seek alone about 40 minutes after the start the change in pc instead of tv i woke up with a pc in front of the bathroom because i was in one room my first psychic experience uh this is me translating it by the way so if i misread that or if i skipped over something let me know in the description below but yeah uh i'm not gonna play the full video you can pause the story and sort of look at the video because there is i think copyrighted music in there but uh, yeah, that's really not much shit. It's the only video on the channel, so uh, take that with what you will. So first off with this ritual, I am 75% sure this is fake. And the reason I say that is because the steps alone. Keep in mind, this is a game called Hide and Seek, and these, are, and these games are mainly for kids. So, yeah, I don't think a kid would be able to do any of the steps, especially in quite, you know, quite uh uh perfection as some of the steps would be a little too complicated for a kid i mean opening a stuffed toy and then taking all the stuff and putting the uh the rice in there and then sewing it i doubt a kid would be able to do that and also let alone one of the final steps is literally burning the toy i doubt the kid would want to do that so i don't think this game is real just on let alone the fact that i doubt any adult would be wanting to play hide and seek if you're an adult playing hide and seek well, what are you doing with your life but i don't i it, it's that un uh it's an unrealistic expectation that a child would be able to do this that kind of breaks it for me of course you might be wondering well, what about that 25 percent well Looking back at the video, it is very unsettling, and there could be a chance that it was real. Keep in mind, there is different experiences that people have when doing uh, rituals. Let's say the Ouija board, for example. There's other people who've done the Ouija board who nothing has ever happened, and just a bunch, and they believe it's a bunch of bullshit. But there are other times where people have used it, and some creepy stuff has happened. So, again, there's all, I believe in the paranormal, and... Sometimes it works for some people, sometimes it doesn't. Hence why I don't want to try this ritual. I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to go out of my way and do this ritual. There's probably videos on YouTube that have done it, but I myself will not be doing it. So don't think just by asking me in the comment section, I will do it. I won't. So yeah, because on the off chance that uh, this might invite some unknown force that I don't want into my house. So yeah. Those are really my thoughts on this ritual. If you're going to try it, uh, do it at your own risk. Uh, but don't be surprised if nothing works out. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my social medias. Link will be in the description below of the video with the story and the original story as well. And with that being said, I am out.